close your eyes, make your mind still with the breath. The breath comes in, the mind stays right there. The breath goes out, you stay right there. Don't send the mind in and out. Just find one spot in the body where the mind can rest. Because it's stillness that forms the basis for all the mind's goodness. And all of its happiness as well. As the Buddha said, there is no happiness other than peace. It's only when the mind has a sense of well-being that it feels that it can has the strength to do what it knows it should do. And has the strength actually to see what it should do. The mind is running around all the time. Everything is a blur. And even when things become a little bit clear, you see how oh, this needs to be done, but you don't have the strength because you've been running around so much. So get the mind still and make it this its gathering spot. Because we need to learn how to depend on our own minds. We've depended on the body for many years now. And as you look at the body, you begin to realize, okay, this is going and that's going. You don't want, however, you don't want the goodness of the mind to go. And for the mind's goodness to stay, it needs a good, safe, quiet place to be inside. Otherwise, all of its goodness goes dripping out its eyes and leaking out its ears and nose and tongue and body and all over the place. And there's nothing left. After all, the body is going to leave us at some point. You think about time passing here, we're coming to the end of the year. Another, another year chalked up, and you have to ask yourself, well, now that you've chalked up another year, what have you gained in terms of things that you can take with you? It has to be the goodness of the mind is where all the goodness gets stored. Someone once came to see a John Fuhring, and he asked her, you know, where have you made merit? And she started listing all the different monasteries that she'd been to and made merit. He said, well, why don't you make merit in your mind? Because that's where the merit really belongs. In other words, the goodness that we develop through generosity, through virtue, and especially through meditation. And for that goodness to have a good, safe place to stay, it has to have a good, quiet place inside. So learn how to be with the quiet, not get bored by the quiet, not get impatient with the quiet. Make this the mind's default mode. Make this the place where it can stay and hang out and feel at home, so it's not pushed around by things. Once the mind is still in this way, well, then you can start to depend on yourself. So make sure that you create this refuge inside the mind. Make, keep it going all the time. It's not the sort of thing where you just meditate a few minutes every day and then forget about it. You've got to keep in mind all day long okay, that the state of the mind is your most important possession. And if you've got at least one still spot inside, you can try to maintain that as you go through the day. And that gives you a good, strong place to stand, to see things clearly, to act well. In other words, to be a refuge for yourself, to make sure that the stillness inside is something you don't overlook. The Buddha said this respect for concentration is one of the things that brings you near to nirvana. And respect and concentration means that you give it some space, you give it some time, you give it your energy, and you really protect it as much as you can so you have something firm to hold on to.